is true. In the early days of World War II, the British Army created a special force, the men who wore the green beret. They were guerrilla fighters. Their specialty, night raids. Bold lightning strikes to neutralize a key landing beach, an airstrip. It didn't matter what a man had done before. When he put on the green beret, he accepted a unique responsibility. He was part of a word now, a word whose very mention brought fear to the enemy. For the next 30 minutes, commando. After months of being pinned down, Allied soldiers clawed their way out of a nightmare called Anzio. Next stop, Rome. While the free world watched Italy and speculated about D-Day, American and British military planners looked ahead to another objective, the invasion of southern France. In a once peaceful land of farms and vineyards, Hitler's generals had hidden one of the most deadly concentrations of firepower ever assembled flak guns, thousands of them, camouflaged in every barn and meadow. They would make each Allied bombing run a trip through a shooting gallery. Pinpointing the locations of these guns so that they could be destroyed by naval and air bombardment was an absolute necessity. The alternative would be the sacrifice of thousands of Allied soldiers. One plan was to send Commando Captain Ian Stewart from the muddy foxholes of Italy to the rolling hills of northern Scotland. Sorry to disturb your slumber, MacDonald, but this is an emergency. If you don't mind, I'll get right to it. I mind losing my sleep, I can tell you that much. I have a proposition for you. Oh, you do, do you? You'd never fag, would you? Yes, certainly. Ah, an army, Captain, huh? Yeah. <laughs> With a French beret, too, huh? <laughs> the Green Beret happens to be the dress uniform of the commanders. Oh. Commando, huh? huh? I've heard of you fellas. The suicide heroes, huh? McDonald, the army wants you to volunteer for a very special mission. Oh? If, um, if you agree, you'll be granted a full pardon of the five years you've still to serve here. Is that a fact now? Well, you know, volunteering isn't exactly my specialty, Captain. But opening safes is, we're told. So that's it, is it, huh? In fact, you are considered the best at it. Oh, none better, Captain, none better. Well, we have a safe to open. And thousands of lives may depend upon it. Oh, that's a lot of rubbish. A lot of nonsense. Thousands of lives. Newspaper talk, that's all that is. A full pardon out of here, you say, huh? Yes. Where is this safe? In Rome. But that's where the Germans are. That's right. Oh. Oh, I, I see. I, I get it now. I see. We sneak in there, get shot at, maybe even get killed. There is danger. Yes. Oh, yes. I'll say there's danger. Well, I'll tell you something. Five years is a long time, but being dead is a lot longer. No, I, I, I don't know about this at all. Oh, no, I... What, uh, what kind of a safe is it? A Ferlinghetti. A Ferlinghetti, eh? Oh, that's a mean girl, that one, huh? You know, I could tell you about... Oh. I don't know why I bother even to talk to you. I don't want to mess with you, fellas. 
I'm very happy here. But it's been very pleasant meeting you, MacDonald. Like that? Likewise, I'm sure, Captain. Just use our explosives, men. What? Now, wait, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. You don't want to use them. They're, they're, they're too messy. You're, uh, you're sure it's a Ferlinghetti, huh? Yes, we're sure. You know, um, I was just thinking. I can say yes to you now. But how can you be so sure that I just won't take off as soon as I'm safe out of here? I can't. But if you should, I can tell you, you'd have something far worse than the police to contend with. Oh? And what would that be? Me. I like that. I like your style, Captain. All right, Captain. It's a deal. The next morning, McDonald and Stewart flew to a commando training base near Brighton. Besides themselves, the mission would include two other men, Sergeant Tom Potter, a 24-year-old veteran, and Corporal Jack Walsh, 25, one of the men who had survived the ill-fated commando raid to capture Rommel. Well, we're wanted straight away by Captain Stewart, who's in brief in room four. Aye. Keep right at it, lads. I'll go back. Don't you look fine, MacDonald. Well, you're a little bit better than the prison clothes, I will say that. Though for the life of me, I don't know why you want me to wear military togs. I've got a perfectly nifty suit of my own, you know. Well, MacDonald, the British Army doesn't look with favor on its personnel wearing civilian clothing. Nifty or not. Come. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon, sir. At ease, please. I'd like you to meet Private MacDonald. This is Sergeant Potter, Corporal Walsh. Aye. How are you? Uh, be seated, please. I've arranged for Private MacDonald's release from his former unit to be attached to us for temporary duty. He has a broad civilian background in safes. Crikey, you mean we're going sooner than we planned, sir? Precisely. As you know, Rome has been declared an open city. The Germans should be evacuating any time now. We have reason to believe that before they do, they'll be destroying any number of valuable documents. We're going to Rome. We'll move past our own lines at night, be met by partisans and taken through. Now, the last leg of the trip through this section of Rome will be by sewer. And our objective is a building here, 58 Via Cassati. It contains the entire master plan of the anti-aircraft installations in southern France. Precisely. We want to get that plan before it's destroyed by the Germans. We just walk right in and take it, I suppose. No, not quite, MacDonald. We come up through this lovely looking manhole, down this street, and up a rope at the rear of the building to the top floor. How are you at climbing? Oh, uh, I've uh, done some in my time. Well, you want to give him lots of practice before we leave. For the next 10 days, Jamie McDonald was given a concentrated course in commando tactics. Fun is fun, but this is bloody ridiculous. Ninety two down, ninety three up, ninety four down, ninety five. The special emphasis was on a new means of transportation rope. 28 seconds. Uh, <coughs> not bad for an old man, though, huh? Five days later, Jamie McDonald did it in 22 seconds. Nine days later, wearing a sidearm pistol, four hand grenades, two smoke bombs, a knife, blackjack, and carrying a submachine gun, Jamie McDonald did it in 19 seconds. Four hours later, the four-man commando unit was flown to an advanced base of the U.S. 12th Air Force in Italy. 
On June 2nd, the British 8th Army in the east and the American 5th Army in the west began to close in a coordinated drive on Rome. The Germans decided against the street-to-street -street fighting that would have destroyed Rome. They were afraid that the Italian partisan armies in the north would be incensed into an attack against the retreating German columns. Instead, they declared Rome an open city. The Allies accepted this condition and withheld all aerial and artillery bombardment of the city. The Nazis used this reprieve to carry out a final order from Berlin. All intelligence data, which could not be safely evacuated, was to be destroyed. General Otto Mergener, Nazi chief of intelligence for the Mediterranean area, was carrying out that order. Yes. Was machen Sie denn hier? Okay. Da kommen Sie, Signor Generale. Non ha paura? Come non? Non va al riparo? Sì, sì. sì. Finivo di scopare e andavo subito. Spengi le luci. Sì, subito. Was soll denn das heißen? Ich verstehe das gar nicht. Es wird eine vollkommen klare Abmachung, dass Rom offen der Stadt ist. Wird ja eine hübsche Überraschung werden für den Vatikan. Wenn nur das Ding geht, diese Aufzüge sind ja meistens kaputt. While everyone in the building went to the cellar in anticipation of an air raid, one man remained, Mario Crossi, the janitor. Das ist schon möglich. Dafür haben wir ja drei Panzerdivisionen am Südrand von der Stadt. Die werden Sie schon richtig empfangen. directly overhead, but as yet there had been no sound of bombs falling. The Nazi general ordered one of his junior officers to investigate the strange circumstance. The young captain was to go to the roof and observe which targets, if any, had been chosen by the Allies. Sto facendo la polizia, signor capitano, qui era tutto sporco, sa. Capisco che cosa dice, però io sto qui, sto pulendo. Come si è? Un momento e. Come si è? Un momento che. Come si è? Va bene, capitano, no, no. Cosa vuole? 
Schauen Sie sich nicht in den Keller. Was? Warum bist du nicht hier? Hey, sto pulendo, ich habe es Tanto per che andare a riparo. Se... Bitte ah. Sie das auch in Ihrer Arbeit? No, tanto che c'è molta oscurità. Wem haben Sie das Signal gegeben? Ma che signale, signale? Sie waren signale. die Flugzeuge, waren Sie nicht? Ma no, Signor Sie Capitano. Sie haben das Signal, die Cosa Flugzeuge vuole, gegeben. Cosa vuole, Capitano? Ja. No, io non posso mi rompere. Ah, Hans Mahl, komm mit mir in Keller. Dove? Kommen Sie runter mit mir, jetzt. No, non mi faccio del male. Du hast Hund! Non mi faccio del male, Capitano! Is in the bomb shelter. There's no one on this floor? No one on this floor. Upstairs? No one. The coast is clear. The coast is clear, but the office door is closed. Right, you have the keys. I have the keys. Right, the walls give Pondra a hand with the body defended. I'm here. Let me do it. All right, Captain, please. Now, right over here, Captain. Good. Good man. Good man. Bravo. Bravo, okay. ragazzi. Oh, all right, all right, all right. These are the friendliest people I've ever seen in my life. It's just that they're very grateful. Come on, get to work. How many? I don't know. All right, McDonald, stick with it. Gentlemen, get rid of those. We'll do this as quietly as possible. Take this just in case. Jagen ganz rum in die Kelle und dann fällt nicht eine einzige Bombe. Ich habe euch selbst gesagt, dass die Alliierten ihr Wort halten werden. Ich hätte nur gewusst, was sie gar nicht hingeflogen werden sollen. Meine Herren, ich gehe wieder an die Arbeit. Ich hoffe nur, dass alle Fliegerangriffe so ausfallen, dass keine Bomben runtergeworfen werden. Verstehe das nicht. Das ist doch eine vollkommen klare Abmachung, dass Rom auf dem Stand bleibt. Exzellenz! Entschuldigen Sie.
freeze these tumblers. Come on, man, come on. Oh, oh, there you are, my beauty. Right, Walsh, come to the door. All right, Captain. She's all yours. This I'm going to keep for my collection. Toss a smoke bomb. We'll cover you while you're on the stairs. Five seconds of time. Enough time for Stuart to escape. Mission successful. Captain Ian Stewart made good his escape through the German lines. The information he brought back pinpointed targets for Allied bombardiers and saved lives. But for Stuart, the mission wasn't over. It ended in 1945, on the day he accepted a posthumous award for Jamie MacDonald. In memory of his sacrifice, Jamie was given England's second highest medal, the Distinguished Service Order. The same week, the Scottish Prison Board added an ironic honor of its own. Jamie was granted a full pardon. <laughs> 